Okay. Check, check, check. Check it. Is this thing on? Check. Check. Yes. What's going on? Mr. O, how you doing, man? Welcome, 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 welcome back. Tonight we're going to play some Liza P again and answering your money questions. Nice and easy tonight. And as always, my content purely educational in nature, not intended to be financial or tax advice. Always, always, always get with a licensed, qualified professional before making financial decisions. Mm. What's up? What is this bot doing in my... Has correctly joined the channel? Huh. Check something here. Too many bots. There's Nightbot. Okay, whatever. Anyways, what's going on? What's going on? How y'all doing? We are on Twitch, I think. We got the dual stream going again. Second stream on Twitch. Nice, looks like uh, the Twitch stream is getting messages from the YouTube stream. I don't know if that's allowed on Twitch, but well, we'll find we'll find out. We get a slap on the wrist. We'll take it from there, huh? All right, let's close this. Sheen Chow, what's going on, Knight? <clears throat> Mr. L says I bought a two, 22, two two liters or 22, two two liter bottles of Coke Zero yesterday. And one is already gone. I'm addicted. Coke Zero, huh? What's a zero stand for again? Is that zero sugar? Calories? Got a reminder that says, take the trash out. I think I already did that. Did I do that? Pretty sure I did. Oh, what else is going on? Man, I haven't had Coke. Speaking of Coke, I haven't had Coke in... Dude, I don't even know how long. I stopped drinking soda a long time ago. It has to be at least... It might be close to like 10 years where I've actually had a Coke or a Sprite. It's been a long time. Although I do like the sparkling waters. I do like the sparkling waters. My favorite. Lightly flavored would be preferred. Trader Joe's has some solid ones. They put a little bit of cane sugar in there. It's delicious. Highly recommend it. Zero sugar, zero calories. Okay. Does it keep you up at night? It's got some caffeine, right? All right, let's boot up uh, the game. And we'll start the tip. The, then we'll start the, uh, I almost said Twitch stream. TikTok. And we'll get this party going. Lies of P. One of my cats, little shits, chewed on this headphone cable. This headphone is like almost, these headphones are like almost 400 bucks. The cable's probably not that much, obviously, but that little shit chewed on it. It only broke the outer insulator, but gotta keep an eye on that. What's nice is the cables detach well, at least. That would suck. Okay. A lot of layoffs happen. Riot. Now Activision Blizzard had like almost 2,000 layoffs. Discord. A lot of layoffs. Switch this here. <clears throat> uh, 
I don't know, I drank an entire two liter today, so I'll find out in a couple hours. <laughs> what time did that happen? <laughs> Do you drink coffee? Have we had this conversation? Night, you only drink soda once every few months. All right. That's a good thing. What's your, uh, what's your go-to drink? Water? I'm getting deja vu. I feel like we've talked about this. Mr. O, you got to write a 300 word discussion post for my environmental science class. And I've been procrastinating it all week. It wouldn't even take long to do, but I just don't want to, but I work best under pressure. So around 1130, I think I'll start. <laughs> Hey, as long as you get it done. That's all that matters. Get it get it done. Let's turn on our little lamp here. Alright. Let's post our TikTok video. I've got it queued up already. Captions written. I just gotta hit post. I love it. I love when I do that. Next. This is a a Joe Chief. I'm finally getting around to getting the the first Joe Chi collaboration video. Edited and chopped up. And post. All right, we're done with this. We done. I despise coffee no matter what. I just can't stand it. Have you had it? Uh, yeah, I'm not a huge coffee person either. <coughs> But um, I got my wife a Nespresso, Nespresso machine. You know, put those little pods in, those recyclable pods. And we've been making, because before that, we were going to this little coffee shop kind of by our house. And we've been getting, or I've been getting this decaf iced vanilla latte. And it's delicious. Like, I don't like coffee black. Just can't drink it. Not a fan. But decaf. Um, iced vanilla latte with oat milk, I should say. And then just like a little, little splash of, uh, it's like vanilla syrup or something. So we've making that at home. Oh, it's delicious. Me likey. And then we'll do the matcha sometimes. I'll do the matcha. I was doing the matcha lattes before. I do love me some matcha. Okay, we're good here. Why do I have no heels? Let's go back home. Back to the hotel. <clears throat> but don't they make good enough money to stay unemployed until they get hired again? If they if they're responsible with their finances, yeah. But dude, um, lifestyle inflation. You mix lifestyle inflation with no emergency fund, and doesn't matter if you're making half a million dollars a year, you're effed. You are effed. Man, I think about that all the time. I think about these high income earners that have inflated their lifestyle so much, their expenses are so high, and it's like they can't they can't quit their job. Or they can't go work a you know a low pay job and survive because their expenses are so damn high. It's scary. Water, lots of juice. What kind of juice? Apple, orange, mango, Ooh, mango, mango juice is good. What am I doing here? We want to turn on the TikTok stream. Let's pause the music. We are doing Liza P. Answering your um, money questions. Go live. Cool. We done. Turn my headphones up. I want to hear this game. Cool, cool, cool. Let's do it. TikTok is on. 
Oh, we have a quartz. Sweet. What else do we have? Can I level up? I sure can. <clears throat> oh, yeah. Oh, yes. Here we go. <clears throat> Hasher fruit juice. Ooh, that's that's good, too. Hasher fruit mango. You ever get, um, you know, boba tea? I love boba. So one of my go-tos is one of the fruit teas. Hasher fruit, mango. Sometimes they have both. Mm, 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 mm. Delicious. Uh, let's see, vitality. No, let's go for technique. 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 What do we got? What's this? Increases damage inflicted on carcasses. Nah, we good. Oh, pomegranate juice. Dude, pomegranate, yeah, I agree. It's number it's that's number one. It is a pain. Total pain. Man, I wish it was easier. Oh, man. Pomegranate juice is the best. There's a bubble tea shop I go to sometimes called Tra. T-R-A. It's, it's a Vietnamese um, place, actually. Tra tea. And they have a pomegranate green tea. Oh, man. I'll get it with boba sometimes. I'll get um, aloe vera sometimes. So good. It's so refreshing. So, so good. All righty. Um, let's see. Let's go level up our dude. Let's get our gold stuff. <clears throat> I was drinking orange juice with a scoop of L-glutamine powder in it. Getting good benefits from it. What is that powder good for? Is that like a recovery? Glutamine's for recovery, right? It's been a while. Back in the day, I used to take creatine and BCAs. Stalker. Good times. Um. Okay. What? Where does it say how many I have? Okay, down there. Let's get that. All right, cool. We good. We good. Strawberry banana juice. All right. Whenever there's banana in a, a juice or a smoothie, dude, the banana overpowers everything. I love bananas, but it's like you got to put just the right amount of bananas or else it's just going to overpower. And it's going to be like, it's my smoothie now, says the banana. So... I put a half a banana in uh, the uh, protein shake I make, and it's just the right amount. Got the peanut butter in there, hemp seeds, uh, oat milk. It's delicious. Don't me about it. No, 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 we're good. We're good, old man. How do you juice a banana? <laughs> put that sucker in a blender, yeah. Let the razor do its job. And I freeze it, too. I like my shakes to be an actual shake. You know, and not just watery or battery. So I'll freeze the banana. And then uh, I'll put some ice in there too. Powder, hemp seed, oat milk, peanut butter, banana, ice. Boom. Blend it, baby. All right, let's level up. What do we want here? We got, we got this leveled up. That's good. What does this do? Increase the special grindstone uses. Could be useful. Ooh, amulets. Yeah, we got to do it. We need an extra amulet slot. What's up, Jonathan? How you doing, man? Austin Roach says, I'm moving out in four days. Any tips? Okay. Mm, I would say, hopefully you have some, some cash. You have some cash? For emergencies? Mm, don't hurt your back. <laughs> Hire people. That's a good investment. I helped a friend move, and uh, I think I'm reaching that age where it just things start to hurt more, and it's more it's riskier to do things like that. So, next time a friend if a friend asks, I'll be like, "Hey, why don't I pitch in f to help you with the movers, and then we'll uh, we'll hang out at your place afterwards."
But where are you moving from and to? Give us the deets. All right, what do we want here? There's so many options. And I get paralysis analysis. Enhance Enhances the attack of fatal attacks. That sounds good. Enhances stagger attack when attacking an enemy from behind. Ooh. Increase stagger duration. Too many good options, man. Damn. Reduce the amount of enemies, natural HP recovery. Nope, don't care about that. Enhance weapon attack when pulse. Nope, don't care about that. Don't care about that. Mm, their staggers are pretty long. So this one means if I, if I do stagger them, they'll kind of just wait in that state for a little longer. Enhance stagger attack from behind. I think I want this. Yeah. All right. Cool. Let's go. Mr. Joe, you need lots of ice in your smoothies, too. You want crunch in every sip? Yeah. Or just that texture, that, like, blended ice texture, like a... What's it called? Almost like an icy. Let's go. Pretty sure you can buy frozen fruits for smoothies. You sure can. Uh, supports muscle growth and recovery, boosts immune health, um, improves gut health, enhances athletic performance, improves recovery from injury or a surgery, counteracts effects of stress. Oh, nice. My smoothie always becomes creamy. I don't like it. I always put um, smashed ice in the blender to create a watery texture. Sounds like we're all on the same page there. I feel like there's so much food that does that. Oh, for uh, the glutamine? That's a good point. I love that attack. It's so cool. The charge up attack. If I hold the heavy, uh, this thing is loud. <laughs> I'm like, what is that? What is that? <laughs> that thing behind me. Anyways, if you hold the heavy attack, it does this cool little. Oh, so cool. Little things. What's up, Taco? How you been? Why is there no exoskeleton to help our body? That'd be so sick. We do need that. They probably have it, it's just super expensive. And a good use case could be... First responders, right? Imagine like a firefighter or police officer, something like that. Or even military, but... Okay, we went over here already. I don't think I'm down for this again. Were we over here too? Let's inspect it one more time. I already forgot. I know it's been two days. But I already forgot. Let's check it out. Nothing. We did, op we did open that... Oh, yeah. Remember we held our breath as a, as a community? We ran through this section, got the box, and ran back. All the memories we, we make, huh? Mr. O says, we just got to keep evolving until we get our own exoskeleton. <laughs> yeah. Uh, if only... There's this anime, um, speaking of evolution, there's this anime um, called Ergo Proxy. Ergo, Ergo, Ergo Proxy. And there was this one scene, it's, it's like futuristic, uh, dystopic. There's this one scene where they're on this planet, and they, there's a certain species on this planet, and they live in this cave. And this cave has this gas that is toxic to pretty much everyone, but they're, they were in the middle of their evolution. So while the gas was toxic to them, it was less toxic than being outside with the planet's atmosphere. So, <laughs> so depressing. Like you can see them in there kind of coughing sick, but if they left the cave, they would die. That just killed me. What were we talking about? Why did I, why did I choose to, uh, <laughs> 
to bring that up. Who knows? We're moving on. Yeah, I've been here already, I'm pretty sure. <clears throat> you doing good? What about you? I'm doing well, man. Just uh, chugging along. Same old. Actually just got my tax form, so iffy. You got your W-2? Is that what you got? Yeah. I think we're all getting emails about, hey, tax form of, tax forms available for blah, blah, blah. Oh, 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 oh. What the heck? <clears throat> I just paid some quarterly taxes a couple weeks ago. About five grand. That was fun. Right? Love me some taxes. If you are ever, uh, if you ever become self employed in the future, just know that you have to pay taxes every quarter. So four times a year. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. I'm getting wrecked. These guys are crazy. My goodness. This guy's this guy's really beefy for just being a half a half a body. That hurt a lot. What's up, Brandon? Let's run duos on Fortnite? Dang, it's been a while. It's been a while. Maybe uh I really want to get through this game, man. <laughs> what is that over there? We're running, we're going for it. Is this just a light? Okay. That was lame. Nothing. Moon, you're drinking Mexican coconut pineapple yogurt drink. Nice. So they can't go outside, but at the same time, still suffer on the inside? Exactly. That was, It was so sad. I was like, wow, that is depressing. Alright, we are chugging along. We used four heals already. Just on those uh half-bodied dudes. Look at this guy. We fought him before, I think. Let's pass. Let's pass on that dude. Formal review, it's nice. Eight out of ten. You're talking about the drink? Should we try and fight this dude? He just wants to throw up on me, is what he wants to do. Oh, I see someone else here. Well, let's uh, back away. Uh-oh. 1099K. That's one of them. All the 1099s. There's like 1099K, 1099 NEC, 1098 div. Fun stuff, huh? All right, one at a time, guys. One at a time. Come on. All right. All right, one more. I do like this weapon, but the range is a lot shorter than the last one we had. Have you played the new season? I have not. What's new? What do they got? Did they get rid of the... That original mode? They, were, they brought back an older mode, right? Or I guess not mode, but older version of the game. Oh. Oh, I'm dead. Oh, it barely made that. Man, this guy's a pain. Taco says, new strat for next year is to buy something expensive. That's the strat, huh? What are we thinking? Let's heal our weapon. Super fun. They got Lambos and Peter Griffin. 
Ah. Does he have the bird dance? He's they gotta have the bird dance, right? They gotta. Is he buff? I thought I saw some uh, some footage, some video clips. He's like buff. Or is that one version of the skin? Dang, I haven't watched Family Guy in so long. Is uh, is this is this still good? Y'all watch Family Guy? How is it these days? I do keep up with South Park. South Park's still pretty solid. Mr. O says, yo, I just realized my laptop says it's connected to Ethernet, but it's only plugged into the wall through the charger. Is that now a thing? Ethernet through power cord? Mm, I mean, there's power line, but I don't think that's your situation. It's got to be a bug. <clears throat> Bird is the word. <laughs> I haven't received any tax forms from my brokers as yet. You should get them probably this month or next month. What's up, Kobe? Kobe says, archaeologists have found pots of honey in ancient Egyptian tombs that are over 3,000 years old and still perfectly edible. Honey's long shelf life is due to its low water content and acidic pH. Mmm. W fact. I like that. What's this? That's a, that's a block door. Not looking forward to it? Yep. Taxes are uh, not fun. Okay, we were here before. Let's run around. I think this is where... Yeah, where the game began, actually. <clears throat> American Dad is better. American Dad is great, too. At least it was back in the day. I don't know how it is now. <clears throat> you wanna get, you're going to buy a truck, Taco? All right. The cyber truck? Huh? Um, Kat says, hello, I have a question. I have 7,000 currently at 14, and I was wondering, should I invest and how? If I were you, yeah. If I were 14 again, I would absolutely invest. Talk to your parents, open up a custodial, either custodial Roth IRA or a UTMA. And low-cost index funds are your friends. Easy peasy. <clears throat> Day in the life yet? <laughs> um, let's see. I'm still writing the I quit my high salary tech job. Here's why you should also. Here's why you should quit your job also. Something like that. I'm still work on the title. After that, it's going to be a... All right, I've been a content creator for a full year. Let's go through all that. And then maybe after that, we'll do a day in the life. What do you think? This will be for the main channel. Probably not this channel. <clears throat> when is bull run for Bitcoin starting? It keeps hovering around 38 to 45. I'm going to move on after this bull run, I think. Feels like BTC, BTC won't be that great afterward due to regulations like Webzy said. Um, well, we don't know for sure. We probably won't see, like, insane 10,000% gains, but... But I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. I mean, even with regulations, the thing about Bitcoin is you can't shut it down. It's kind of, kind of neat. Maybe, maybe, huh? How much is a cyber truck? Probably like what, starting at 60 or 70 at least? Or they're probably doing the more expensive one first and then making cheaper ones. It's pretty cool. But I am done with cars, man. I'm gonna drive, we're gonna drive our current Tesla into the ground. 
<clears throat> Alright. Sweet. Let's get our heals back. <clears throat> 7k at 14 is incredibly good. It really is. That's a lot of money for a 14 year old. Alright, what do we got down here? Okay, we got an item here. <clears throat> the issue is it has zero, it has no utilities, zero. Yeah. Oh. I mean, technically, Bitcoin does have smart contracts. I learned that recently. It has like a very basic form of smart contracts. Not sure what they're going to do with that, but beyond that, Store value. Kind of like gold, although the difference between Bitcoin and gold, beyond it being a store value, is gold is a is a conductor of electricity. Gold conducts electric gold conducts electricity. And it is also rust resistant, so you do see gold plated stuff all the time, especially in the RF world and radio frequencies. Lots of RF. Sorry, lots of gold. Lots of gold. It does get a tax break for being over 6,000 pounds. Oh yeah, section 179. Section 179 and 168K. A combo of those. They are rolling, they are uh, slowly uh, nerfing them. They are nerfing those. Those tax provisions. So expect a nerf coming soon. John, this is Liza P. Liza P. Alright, Taco says, I'm starting Calc 2 and Physics 1, as well as two other classes, and have a feeling... I have a feeling I'm a... something? But I got my real estate license, so I can be a realtor now. Thoughts? So you're taking some pretty tough classes. Calc 2, Physics 1, and two other classes. Uh, was there another part of your sentence there? It ended with, and I'm have, and I'm feeling... and have a feeling I'm a... That's all it says. That's cool you got your real estate license. Yeah. Hey, man. Diversify. Feel like you're going to get cooked. What are the other two classes? Yeah, Calc 2, Physics 1. It's going to be tough. I did not like Physics 1. I hated it. Classical Mechanics, hated it. Did not like it. Physics 2 and 3 were, were good. I like those. 3 especially because... I was an electrical engineer in college, so that was related to that. You quit your job to play video games, and uh, everyone calls you an influencer. I do the same thing, and all of a sudden, I'm a bum. <laughs> Life just isn't fair. Uh, drive the Tesla until the battery dies of old age? Yeah, exactly right. Um, I'm not sure where to go from here. Where do we go? Where do we go? Where do we go? So that was the shortcut. Pretty sure. Right? That was the shortcut. So I'll go back down over here. Did we check over here? Oh, perfect. We got some more paths to choose from. Got some graffiti here. I know there was a collapse, but why did they have to cut off communication? Please let us out. All right, cool. We're not lost anymore. Oh, this guy again. Holy crap. Well, that was really cool. Oh! This, this, this half, this half dude down here is always wrecking me. nerf for nothing. All my homies hate physics. It's not the most fun. Once alchemy takes off, everyone can have gold. Endless amounts of gold, and it would be then valueless. Mmm. I'm getting some, uh, 
Full Metal Alchemist vibes. Oh my gosh, I hate this guy. I hate him. I hate him. And he screams. Can you imagine? We can create gold without... materials. Other materials. That would, uh... That would suck. <laughs> I guess that'd be good. Master Chef's Knife Blade. Nah, we're good. We good. We have any new costumes, actually? I got this, uh... kind of goofy-looking pants. An owl mask. Taco says, I'm not too worried about the other two. It's an intro to engineering and public speech class. Okay. I think you should be okay. Are you working too? You got a part-time job? Man, going to school and working, that was tough. But as I always say to you all, just get through it, man. Just get through it. That's all you got to do. course should we go up or straight what do you think left or right cast your vote mr. L about to turn my house into diamonds like I'm playing minecraft <laughs> night Elliot says gold stocks or physical gold probably I wouldn't want to have physical gold. Just sounds like a pain in the ass. So probably something less tangible so I don't have to deal with it. What's up, Ryan? How you doing, man? Straight into the wall? It's not working. <laughs> Let's go this way. Ooh. Is this a boss? A little mini boss, maybe? Oh, I'm about to get robbed. Oh, it's a cat. Yes. We're going to kill this person. Or is that a bear? This person, this voice actor sounds familiar. Sounds like someone from a cartoon. Let's see if we can get him to talk more. Come on, say something. Welcome to the city of the future. And the future is death. That sounds so familiar. It's like either a Nickelodeon or Cartoon Network cartoon. And the character's like kind of geeky. Come on, a little closer. There we go. here
Oh, did not expect that. Oh. One more hit and this guy's done. Oh. <laughs> he got me good. Fun fact, diamonds aren't even rare. Dude, diamonds are the biggest scam probably ever. They're one of the most common gems, right? And you have a couple companies. One of them is named uh, De Beers, De Beers. And they hold about 30 to 40% of the hold of the entire diamond supply. So they can artificially inflate prices. Holy moly. Diamonds are a scam. So if you are going to buy a ring for your partner, go for a lab grown, go for mosinite. It's going to look exactly the same. Hardness is going to be about the same. Yeah, don't fall for that diamond bullshit. It is a complete, complete scam. Blows my mind. Way to bring that up. That's a good point. <clears throat> uh, yeah, I bought Diana a lab-grown diamond. It was probably like be 500 bucks. She loved it. And we're going to use the money we saved to travel. We're going to Korea in the fall. And then uh, Switzerland next winter. Talk says one job is optional. Um, work when I want, but also running my personal uh, business full time. Oh, good for you, man. What's the business? Have we talked about this? What's up, Invisible? I just purchased my first million dollar house. Already looking for my second house. Dang. Little Luki, assistant bank manager, said I can't because I'm not 18. But all I need, I can grab my thing. Hold on. Assistant bank manager said I can't because I'm not 18, but all I needed was to put in my parents' name until I was 18, but she didn't tell us that. Did I miss the first part of this question? Jeez, come on. Just need a he one heavy hit. Give me one heavy hit. Damn it. I got too greedy. Should have healed. Should have healed. Uh, Ryan says, is inflation affecting the banks? Is inflation, is inflation affecting the banks? I mean, inflation is going to affect everything. Um, the interest rates absolutely affect banks. So what, the, what has happened is the federal government increase what's known as the federal funds rate and it's the rate at which banks charge each other to borrow money from each other because the way our banking system works is um it's called fractional reserve banking what it means is banks are essentially allowed to create new money loans the amount they can create depends on how much cash they have in reserves and before the pandemic at least Banks had to have a minimum cash at the end of every business day. And they're federally regulated. They have to do that. So if they don't have enough, they're able to borrow money from other banks. And the rate at which they, the interest rate that they, that is used to uh, borrow money from each other is set by the federal government. That's the federal funds rate. And so you see this like cascading effect. So if the interest rate that becomes more expensive for banks to borrow money from each other, they're going to pass that on to us. Interesting, right? Took me a little while to wrap my head around how banks can just create new money. Pretty interesting. Switzerland is beautiful. I think we talked about this, right, last time? Taco says, yeah, we talked about it. Um, 4x my business income in 2023 compared to 2022. That's awesome, dude. Congrats. Love to hear it. Ryan says, my friend invited me to Korea in the summer, but the tickets seem expensive, so I'm not sure. What were the prices? I'm curious. 
I think in the fall there are they're like like two thousand, something like that. can't do that move reliably. Nice. What's up, D? I do have your headset. It's on my desk. I think I'm done using it for now. I had to borrow Diana's uh, headset for a video I was filming. Uh, Leluki says, yes, it got deleted. I went to the bank to get a debit card and also open a Roth IRA. Nice. In a city where everything is upside down, the strong rule, not the wise. Oh, ouchie. Oof, the reach. This weapon doesn't have the greatest reach, huh? Why is this guy messing me up? He's not even hard. There we go. Kind of waste of that combo. Okay, one more, one more hit. There we go. All right. Oh, it's a weasel. It's a weasel mask. It's not a cat. All right, close enough though. Let's put that on. Kind of like a scarecrow thing going on, huh? Taki, you design and manufacture parts for trucks in the business. Nice. You'll have to drop a uh, screenshot of some of the some of your designs. All right, Zukami says, "Hey Ron, I'm a 20 year old working construction. What would be the best way to get into investment properties?" I'm not a real estate person. I can't really give you a whole lot of insight there. But look into potentially house hacking. It's a pretty popular way to get into real estate. Uh, what else? Is this where I came from? Yes. Um, do lots of research. Do a ton of research because you want to make sure that the property you invest in actually cash flows. You want to actually make money um, and not just barely cover the mortgage maintenance and the repairs. I will also say that a lot of the gurus online make it seem like it's the easiest thing in the world. It's incredibly difficult to get into real estate investing, to actually invest in properties. You need quite a bit of cash because stuff's going to go wrong. What if a recession happens this year? Your tenant loses their job. Who's responsible for the mortgage? You are. Who's responsible for the property taxes? You are. Home insurance? You are. Maintenance and repairs? You are. Right? It is not as easy as they say, man. And then also everyone else is trying to do it. So, the competition. And interest rates right now, so incredibly high. Oh.
Uh, Kobe says, you never told Killdozer that um, I recommend he look at homes in foreclosure. Usually get great deals. Seem like you didn't want to tell him. I mean, but homes in foreclosure aren't really, like, aren't really a secret. You know what I mean? Everyone's going to be looking at that also. So it's not like a hidden thing that... Or you're just going to magically find a good deal. Like I said, competition, man. Everyone's going to be looking at that also. But yeah, that is another avenue. For sure. For sure, telling us the basics, it will. Bunsty, you still play Valorant? It's been a while, but we'll get back into it. I do like the interactions with other Valorant players compared to other games, for sure. They're a lot nicer. Yeah, okay, here we go. I was looking for this right here. Here we go. Shake my head, Ron. It's super easy to do real estate. But buy a cheap property, then rent it for a lot of money. <laughs> Boom. Follow for more. Buy my course. Yeah, real estate's tough. You want to see something crazy? Let's take a, a tiny break here. Uh, I was doing a video about why real estate, why, why purchasing a primary residence can be an awful, awful investment. Um, by the way, we are, we are live on Twitch and YouTube, so come on over to one of those platforms if you want to see, if you want to have a better view of what we're going to be looking at here in a second. Take a little break here. We're going to look up a mortgage, 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 I hate the way mortgage is spelled, right? Mortgage. So check this out. You want to buy a $500,000 home, which is about the average home here in the U.S. 20% um, down payment. And again, TikTok, you can't really see this. I'm sorry. So, half a million dollar house. You put a $100,000 down payment, which is 20%. Your monthly mortgage payment, um, property taxes, and homeowner's insurance, about $3,000. Nothing too crazy yet. Here's where... It gets crazy. Check this out. Again, TikTok people, come on over to YouTube, Twitch. Your first year, let's say by January 1st of this year, you make all those payments, right? You only pay $3,600 worth of principal. Meanwhile, you're paying $25,000, almost $26,000 just in interest. So the bank is going to pocket all this. And you only paid off $3,600 in the entire year, making $3,000 payments each month. Isn't that wild? The next year, you paid off $7,000 worth of the loan. Meanwhile, you paid $53,000 in interest. And we zoom out all the way. This is going to blow your damn mind. You borrowed $400,000 to buy this home. You paid over half a million dollars in interest. You paid more interest than the damn loan. <laughs> so this home over 30 years is going to cost you well over a million. So just the loan and interest itself, close to a million. But we're not even talking about maintenance and repairs. That's going to be at least another $100,000. At least. Man. So, the moral of the story is, do the research, run the numbers, before you purchase a home to live in. Because this is not a good investment. This is an awful investment. The home would have to appreciate so much in value in order for you to recoup this cost. You'd, it'd be, have to be well over a million dollars. Meanwhile, let's say we take the down payment of $100,000. Let's put that into the stock market. Boring, low-cost S&P 500 index fund. But the same 30 years, we know the stock market returns about 10%, not guaranteed, but it has for the last century. $1.7 million. This is your $100,000 down payment working in the stock market. $1.7 million. And if you throw in some of that into a Roth IRA, some of those profits will be tax-free. And you do zero work. Zero work whatsoever. There's no maintenance, no repairs, nothing. You can set it and forget it, and you never have to look at it. So what's the better investment? This primary residence 
or the stock market investment. Depends on what you value. With the home, you, you do get your home. It's your home. You can do whatever you want with it. But man, as an investment, this is absolute garbage. Absolute garbage. All right. Rant is done. Let me make a, a marker here. Uh, rewind for some good stuff. Pretty crazy, huh? Banks love, 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 love to hand out mortgages. They love it. They make a ton of money. Ton of money. <clears throat> um, Orozco says, I still dream about the day that I met you and your, <laughs> and your little beautiful beak in Valorant. <laughs> I don't remember. Can you refresh my memory? That's funny. What I miss? What I miss during my little rant there? Mr. O says, Oh, Ron, I've meaning to ask you. I might have already and forgotten, but I've been seeing these videos where people complain that money they're paying towards loans goes towards interest instead of principal. But does it matter what the money goes toward if it's all accruing interest? Or are there some loans that aren't compounding and only accrue interest in the principal? Okay, a lot to unpack there. I think the video you're talking about is this woman, um, I've seen one of them that went viral. This woman is paying her student loans and she's paying them for a certain amount of time. Um, but the balance didn't go down. Something like that. That's compounding working against you. This is essentially what's happening, right? So you have a balance, maybe you make the minimum, but the interest being applied to that balance is more than what your, uh, what your payment is taken off of the principal. So that's compounding going in the other direction, going against you. It's uh, pretty gnarly. Credit cards are the most notorious because the interest rates are wild. Hey, we're outside again. Nice. <clears throat> What's up, Steve? How you doing? I already went here before. We're good. Face blue. I don't see the emojis. It just says face blue, white eyes. Face blue, white eyes. Is that just uh, restream? Not rendering it? Alright, can we level up? Maybe? Oh, close. We need 14,600. We're almost there. Let's go kill a few things really quick. <clears throat> I've seen a couple, but there's one saying you got to specifically request that your payment goes towards principal first, but I don't see the merit. Okay, yes, yes, yes. So here's how that works. So <clears throat> for the mortgage example, you, you can't get around not paying the interest. But if you want to make an additional payment, because the agreement is, you have a 30-year mortgage, and you have agreed to make 30 payments, right, over the course of 30 years. And you've agreed to pay interest. So the payment that you make each month, you have to pay interest. And if the, the, if the amount left in the loan is high, then the interest is going to be high because that's how math works. But you can make an additional payment on top of that. So once you've taken care of that first payment, the required payment, you can make an additional payment and market where it's only going towards the principal. Because the bank wants their paycheck. And actually, my wife and I are going to do that. We're going to make an extra mortgage payment. One or two, at least. At least one. Maybe two. Um, so once we make the required payment, we're going to make another payment. And all of it is going to go towards the principal. Hopefully that makes sense. Did I search down here? That's blocked. That is blocked. That's blocked. And that is nothing. Okay, looks like we did. Let's go... Let's go over here. Did I check this out already? Ooh, is this a hidden, hidden room? It is. <clears throat> It's a YouTube emoji. Okay. 
Well, that's lame. Can I open this? Do I have a key for this? Sweet. <clears throat> what do we got? Workshop Master's Workwear. Let's try, let's, uh, let's go into the, the fitting room. Uh, it matches the, uh, the mask. I don't know. Eh. We did get our amulet, though, just for... Let's check that out. What is that? Shoot. Which one was it? Uh-oh. I lost track. Oh, it was this one. Carrier's amulet. That's what it was. Okay. Cool. Kobe says 15 mortgage, best way to go. That's where uh, Dave Ramsey's advice makes more sense. Because uh, Team Ramsey is all about the 15 year mortgage. I think the 15 year mortgage makes the most sense now because of the interest rates. But again, it's, it's just so expensive. That most people would just can can't afford it. If you like being house broke. <laughs> yep. There there is an obsession with home ownership, man. It's the American dream, right? Oh, you gotta buy a house. And it's a bunch of bull. Bunch of bullshit. I miss renting, dude. I, I really do. You don't gotta worry about anything. It's so nice. Oh! It's a dog? Oh, this guy. He's real slow, though. That was really easy. We have enough money to level up? We do. Well, let's do that. <clears throat> Mr. O says, so the minimum amount of interest you're going to pay has been determined as soon as you took out the loan, but by paying more, you can keep it from going too much higher than the minimum. Yes, so the more principal you pay down, the less interest you're going to be charged each payment. There was that um there was that graph on that page where the interest was like shooting up as the principal was coming down, but then over time your principal the amount of principal you're paying goes up because the print the interest is you're paying uh paying down the principal. And there is a uh, there is a formula that you can look up. So you can do the math and, and prove it out to yourself on, on how they calculate interest. But really, if you do 7% of 100, that's going to be less than 7% of 1,000, right? Oh. That was cool. Oh. Oh, he killed me. And so does that mean in a 30-year mortgage, you'd pay more interest even if you paid it off in 15? And so does that mean in a 30-year mortgage, you'd pay more in interest 
even if you paid it off in 15. If you paid it off in early, if you paid it early, I think you should pay the same amount of interest as a 15 year loan, about. There might be some extra fees on top of that just to get the get the whole thing going. But yeah, let's think about that. So we make our first payment. And then we make additional payment on top of that, enough to basically make it so the math adds up to 15 years and we'll pay it off. Yeah, I think it'll be about the same, maybe a little more. All right, let's go get our body back so we can level up. Steve says, is it a, is it a bad time? It's a good question here. <clears throat> All right, so Steve on TikTok says, is it a bad time to refinance a car? Yes. Unless your current loan is um, higher than the average of what's out there, what's being offered. Yeah, it's a bad time. Holy crap. Whoa, geez. Ouch. Oh my gosh, they're everywhere. No, no, I want to get out of here. I want to go level up. There we go. Leave me alone. <clears throat> Mr. Rob really making you uh, making you turn the wheels inside your brain? Yeah. It's giving me a mental workout too. Then why would anyone choose a 15 year mortgage even if they think they can afford it? Because then if something happens and they can't afford the 15 year mortgage, they can just fall back on the 30 year. Yep. That's one of the what's one of the main arguments for a 30 year instead of 15. Trade offs, all right. But double check that. Fact check that online. But just doing the rough math in my head, seems like it's possible. I'm not sure if there's a fee to pay off the mortgage early. That also might be a possibility. What are we doing? We're trying to level up. Oh, I can't do it here. I gotta go back to the hotel. You're in Washington? Yep. We are in Seattle area. Let us level up. Good to see you. Soldiers like you. Is <clears throat> There we go. My God. So in this game, you have an option to lie come to this or tell the truth. This should never have happened. What a way to die. Grim tidings. Okay. Well, we got something out of it. <clears throat> Willie, thanks for the paper crane. Appreciate that. Um, you know, a good amount about. WSU prices? Washington State University? Is that what you're talking about? If so, I don't. I do not. Oh, we got no money. You pop some of these things. Alright, now we got some money. James, thanks for a follow. Uh, James on TikTok says, My house costs a lot. Kind of want to Airbnb it out. Get a rental to live in and have Airbnb cover both. Okay. If you do that, the best thing you can do is just do some research, man. Do as much research as possible, crunch the numbers, um, and make sure you account for risk. The biggest risk with that is what if you can't get enough people to book your Airbnb, right? So you want to do some research to see, are people booking Airbnbs in your area? How often? I'm sure there's plenty of data out there for that. And take it from there. 
Just definitely don't blindly jump into it. Please. Please don't do that. That's a bad idea. Abraham on TikTok says, how much should I save for a house or a down payment? Well, it depends on the, on the house. You should aim to save about 20%. You don't necessarily have to put 20% down, but it's good to have that cash on hand because things are going to come up. So for example, if you're looking at a $500,000 house, you should aim to save about $100,000. And there's also closing costs on top of that. Um, how likely is it? Do you think the cover... So, you okay, you're asking if the scholarships will cover tuition. I have no idea. I don't know what they're charging. You'll got to do, do some research online. Not sure. Uh, James says, no, I wouldn't. I'm a house flipper and realtor. I know the numbers. Oh, you're going to know more than me. I'm not a real estate person, James. So, you're going to know more than I. I'm more of a personal finance nerd. Not real estate. Steve says, what's the process when... What's the process when wanting to get student loans discharged due to a school failing to teach? Mm, was this, this wasn't like ITT Tech, was it? What do you mean by failing to teach? And what was the school? Was it a, a, a state school? Was it a private school? All right, we did level up. Um, do we want to do anything else? Can we level up our weapon? Knight says, I miss uh, I miscount my squatting reps and accidentally did a total of 135 and was drenched in sweat. <laughs> but it was good cardio. Extra calories burned. All right. I need a full moon of the covenant. Where the hell do I get that? <clears throat> Trade school. Mmm. Is this trade school still in business? I'm curious. One of my friends, she went to a trade school, and that trade school I think went under, um, and they got sued. This whole thing happened, and I'm pretty sure she either got money back or her loans were discharged. I forget. So it is possible. A great weapon calls for. What you got for me? You got anything for me? I think we're good. Let's get back to it. All right, James says, okay, I have a real estate guru versus finance guru battle. Riddle me this. All right, let's hear it. Steve says, I heard FAFSA you can get a discharge when a school misleads you or fails to teach you. Mm. Read the terms. See what... Um... See what's applicable. See what the terms are. They've been in business for a while. It's called UEI. Does that sound familiar? That's not the automotive one, is it? UEI College. Oh, Tacoma. UEI.edu. What do they um what do they teach? Anything specific? Interesting. I don't know much about that about that topic. All right, James says contribute to retirement all your adult life, or get a few houses, turn it into rentals, sell all of it at sixty. Mm, I think about this all the time, James. Oh, you took the automotive program at the school. It was terrible. They have a lot of programs. Hey, it's possible, man. Do the research. Potentially lawyer up if it looks like there's a case there. Um, James, I could get a house once a year, 5% down. Say I end up with 5 to 10 houses. That's more than a 401k or IRA. True. But what are the risks? Let's talk about the risks. Oh, you know the risks. You're a realtor. Recession happens. Tenant loses their job. Who's responsible for the mortgage? 
and the maintenance, and the repairs, and the property taxes, and the home insurance. You are, right? So there is risk there. <clears throat> As opposed to a, a funded retirement account, let's say, I don't know, it's like $2 million there after, I don't know, 30 years or something. You could use the 4% rule, withdraw, and there's a lot of data that suggests that that money will never run out. As long as you're living within that, that 4% and accounting for inflation. All right, let's get back to it. I think we did everything we need to do here. <clears throat> What's the best account for saving? What's the best bank for saving? I like SoFi and Wealthfront. If you run exclamation H-Y-S-A, run that command, you'll get a little link and some info or the one that I use. Highly recommend it. Definitely don't use Bank of America, Chase, Wells Fargo, or really any bank or credit union that's not paying you at least 4% APY. You want to go for at least 4%. This guy's just coming in hot. All right, I think we cleared this area. This guy's are crazy looking. Uh oh. Um, can I, uh... Are these guys weak against fire? Oh, they are. They definitely are. Look at that. Super weak. <clears throat> um, Steve says, oh yeah, Credit Karma has a savings account. Should I open one with them? As long as, like, again, as long as they offer a 4% or higher APY or interest rate, should be fine. And they're FD FDIC insured. If they are a credit union, you're going to want to look for... Um, NCUA, National Credit Union Association, I believe. Do I want to fight this guy? I don't know. Oh, I'm stuck. Ooh. Oof. Oh, man. Oh. Um, you don't take profits on the rentals. You use the excess to pay down the 30-year mortgage. Okay, so you take out a mortgage. You put a tenant in there. They're paying you rental income. And you use that rental income to pay down the mortgage. You don't use it to... To live. Is that what you're saying? Oof. This guy is just... This guy is beefy, man. He's done. Okay. One more, one more, one more. Oh. I can't get a break with this guy. There we go. Wow, he used up all my heals. What game is this, Jimmy? This is Liza P. What bank should I join if I'm just 18? You can sign up for SoFi, Wealthfront. They're both awesome. They're both awesome. Kobe, you're watching on uh, your meta quest right now? No way. That's awesome. <laughs> Uh, no chat on YouTube VR, though. Ah, oh, bummer. Come on, YouTube. I'm surprised uh, YouTube isn't... Or not YouTube. I'm surprised Google isn't making their own VR AR headset. They had one before, but it was... Uh, I think it depended on your on your phone. You had to, like, plug your phone into it. 
Uh, James says, and you can access this money whenever. Roth and 401k penalize if you need the cash today. Well, that's not true. For Roth IRA, you can withdraw your contributions anytime. No penalty. It's the gains you can't touch. 401k, yeah. You'll get a penalty, 10%. You can strap home equity lines to them. Can't do that with 401k or IRA. True. You could, I mean, depending on the brokerage, you can take out a loan against your 401k. Uh, but yeah, when it comes to leverage, I mean, real estate's the game, right? Real estate and leverage go hand in hand. Your kid needs, your kid needs college money, home equity line of credit. A HELOC for a, a HELOC for college? Mm. What are the interest rates for a HELOC versus a federal loan? If it's lower for, for a federal loan, why would you use a HELOC? You know what I mean? I'm not against anything. I'm not against what you're saying. But we want to look at all the options, run the numbers, what makes the most sense. Let's look at the risk and take it from there. And we make our decision based on all that data. But yeah, I agree. When it comes to leverage, real estate can be extremely powerful. Although our friend Uncle Dave Ramsey will be very upset <laughs> about this conversation. <laughs> I got to take my headset to chat on my phone. Mmm. Well, it's, there's pastor, right? Can't you just like, so you have like a, a little screen, I don't know, right in front of you and you can look to the side because the screen stays there, right? Do you have the Quest 3? Dude, I, I tried the Quest 3. Quest 3. My buddy, my buddy works at Meta at their uh, Reality Labs and he brought over a, a Quest 3 and I was playing with it and I was like, holy crap, this is actually pretty impressive. I didn't think it was going to be as impressive as that. So, so you have a screen like somewhere and you can look away at your phone for the chat. Is that what you're doing? Mr. O says, okay, I asked Bing AI, and it says that if you paid off a 30-year mortgage in 15 years, you'd pay more because of the higher interest rate on the 30-year loan. Okay. That makes sense. Because the longer loan that you take, there's a higher interest rate that comes with that. And that, the same for car loans and, and stuff like that. Totally forgot about that. But it would be significantly less than taking the whole 30 years to pay off that loan, right? And you asked it for the average interest rate on a 30-year loan and 15-year loan, and it says between 7 and 7.3 for 30, and 6.4 to 6.49. I mean, just about, just like that 1% is significant, especially when it comes to mortgages, you know? It's significant. I think people... People that don't understand amortization will see, oh, yeah, interest rates went up, but hey, it was 4.5% and now it's 7. What's the big deal? Sales tax here is 10%. It's not that big of a deal. But if you understand how, you know, amortization works over 30 years, half a, half a million dollar loan, that interest adds up real fast, you know? Rich says, any tips for starting, um, any tips for just starting investing at 17? Yes. Get a part-time job. Take half your income and invest it. Talk to your parents, see if they can open up custodial Roth IRA, UTMA, something for you to get started now. And the, the uh, all you got to do is invest often. Invest early and often. You're at 17, that's early as hell. James says, I'm not sure, I'm not sure, but that's what my dad did for college and I paid him back, so it must have been less. Okay, right on. Hey, man, we have all, the way I see it, we have all these tools at our disposal. What makes the most sense? You know what I mean? That's really what it comes down to. Um, I used to be an engineer, and the reason why I like personal finance is because engineering is all about problem solving. We have all these tools. As a software engineer, we have programming languages. As an electrical engineer, we have computer chips and resistors, transistors, and all these tools to help us solve problems. So when it comes to finance, it's the same thing. We have HELOCs, right? We have debt paying strategies. We have Roth IRAs. These are all tools to help us solve problems. It's beautiful. I love it. <clears throat> um, it's interesting to hear someone actually listen because my friends are also finance guys and don't. Yeah, I know what you mean. 
I talked to some real estate people and they're just like always diehard real estate and they, they won't want to listen to, you know, me talking about Roth IRA or 401k. <laughs> but we, we, we both have, we both have a lot we can learn from each other, which is nice. Is Capital One good? Yeah, Capital One has a good high yield savings, but Capital One, they don't have much beyond that. So wouldn't you rather have your checking, high yield savings, brokerage, IRA, a built in budgeting tool, all just in one service, so you don't have to have a bunch of different accounts. That's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to just hone in on one. You know what I mean? Um, James, you're biased. You've made all your money in real estate. I don't see a quicker way to make money. Hey, man, if it works for you, keep doing it. Keep doing it. What else you got going on? So you don't have any retirement accounts? I'm curious to what your other financials look like. Do you have any retirement accounts? Um, what is your real estate portfolio look like if you have one and what else we'll start there just curious um what you don't like is credit cards i take dave ramsey approach uh want to be personally debt free okay that makes sense credit cards for for the average person credit cards are an awful idea they just are because it's so easy to chase points so easy to forget to make a payment so for the average person yeah credit cards are a bad idea Okay, where are we going now? Okay, we need nothing over here. Whoa. I feel like I'm not ready for this area because these guys are pretty beefy. I think I might need to level up some more. Should we just, should we skip them? <laughs> I didn't double check the math. I didn't double check it's math, but damn. Oh crap. Ooh. Okay, we're gonna uh, back up here. Oh my goodness. Oh, we're poisoned or something's going on here. These guys are too beefy, man. I don't like it. Invest aggressively and often. That's my opinion, not advice. Please don't come after me. <laughs> Uh, check the Discord general chat. Okay, I'll check in a bit. Oh my goodness. Can't get a break. I just want to read the chat. There we go. All right. All right, all right, all right, all right. All right, all right, all right, all right. All right, James, you own 450... You own a 450k primary residence. You're 26. You owe 300k on it. Okay, so you got a good amount of equity in there. Flip in two houses at the same time right now. Mmm. Nice. And where is this located? No retirement accounts. I have a Roth IRA, but don't contribute to it. I'm going to start, though. Good, good, good. Because why not? Exactly. 6.5K. Uh, well, 7K this year, but last year, 6.5K. Uh, maxing has good diversification. I love it. I love it. I love it. And uh, yeah, you can max out. You can max out last year's up until tax day of this year, and then you can do another seven k on top of that. So if you have, if you have an extra thirteen point five k, you can do them back to back. And also, um, the broker that I use has a two percent match going on right now up until tax day. So you can get an extra what is that like two hundred something bucks for maxing out both years. <clears throat> Random picture says I have a 718 credit score at 18. Is that good? Yeah. That's very good. Very good. Once you get to 750, you're golden. You're self-employed. You don't get a match. It doesn't matter. With this broker, they will match any contributions. It's pretty nice. 2% match. Fallen Fallen says you look like Vicstar. Vicstar. Sounds familiar. 
Haven Kelly, thanks for sharing the live. You're in Cincinnati. It's a good market to invest. Cheap houses, same profits as expensive areas. That sounds way better than the West Coast, James. West, West Coast? My goodness, it's bad. <laughs> I was looking at um, this multifamily home in the Seattle area. Four units. Um, they were asking... I don't know what it was. A little over a million. Like 1.2, 1.5 million. But... I did the math, the mortgage would be about 13, 14 K and the GSI, uh, what's it? GSI gross scheduled income. Correct me if I'm wrong. Was only going to be about 11 K per month. And I'm like, wow, that sucks. It's negative cash flow. <laughs> I'm going to pass on that. Cause we were looking at potentially doing some house hacking, but it's, it's not going to happen in this area. It's not going to happen. <clears throat> Um, SP Ed zero one. Hey, what's up? How you doing? You just followed? Oh, thank you. We are, uh, we just started streaming on Twitch. Um, like on Tuesday, we've been streaming for about almost a year now on YouTube and TikTok. So we just started on Twitch. So you are probably my eighth or ninth follower. How you doing? We are, if you're new here, obviously we are here to educate the gaming community. We're here to help you rank up your money skills. So if you have any questions about investing, paying off debt, managing money, any of that stuff, career, we do that. And we try and play games at the same time. It's a challenge, but... And we also do live coaching sessions with other streamers. We had one with Killdozer. He's a Counter-Strike streamer a week or two ago. Pretty good so far. Good to hear. Yeah, we are streaming on Twitch now, um, Kobe. Kick next. Yeah, we could do kick. We can do kick. James says, if you break even, it's still a deal. Mm. I don't think I'd break even. I think we'd straight up be negative by a thousand or two. You'll wish you would have bought it when rates drop and it shoots an equity. Yeah, what are your thoughts on that? So right now rates are high. Prices have come down a little bit. What's uh, what's your what's your theory when we do see a I don't know twenty five basis points reduction in interest rates? It's crazy because supply is still seems to be still extremely low. Oh, did you see that parry? I was reading chat and parrying. It's a big boy here. He's got a mallet for a hand. Oh, we missed time that one. Almost at a 1k subs. Ooh. This channel's been uh, kind of slow. Slow to grow on YouTube. But I think it's going to compound this year. Especially with all the long form content we're going to produce. There we go. That's what I wanted. Oh, come on. Mistimed it again. Oh, my goodness. Come on. I keep mistiming that one. There we go. All right, cool. It syncs the chat to you with the bot. It's kind of nice. Um, SP says, this game looks interesting, though. What do you recommend? Should I try it? Or is it difficult or simple? I would recommend it if you're into the Dark Souls, Bloodborne, Sekiro, Elden Ring style of games. If you're into that, I recommend it. It's awesome. Do you have a favorite game, says X? Oof. I'm really into the finals right now and this game. It's like the two main games I'm playing right now. Um... In the past, I was into Metal Gear Solid. It was like all-time favorite series of games. So James, you'll take a low price and high rate all day. Rate's temporary, price isn't. The people in trouble are the ones who overpaid with a low rate. They can't get out of the property for what they paid for if they need to. That's true. That's true. But that's if. When do you think rates will actually fall? 
some people are saying this is the new normal and we won't see 2%, 3% rates for a really long time. What do you think about that? You'll give it a try then? All right. And if you haven't played Sekiro, highly, highly recommend Sekiro before you play this. Although, I like Sekiro better. I think the combat and the parry system is insanely good. So maybe you should play this first and then Sekiro. <laughs> Either way, great, great, great set of games. Okay, we got a new waypoint here. I like it. Brandon says, in college, I have a part-time job. $4,000 saved up, but like to spend my paychecks. No debt. Is that bad? Spending money is totally fine. You should. Ideally, around 30% of your paycheck. Dude, spend it on whatever you want. That's a rule of thumb. It's based on the 50, 30, 20 budget. But if you don't have a emergency fund, get that set up. Aim for at least three months worth of expenses. Keep that in a high yield savings. Exclamation HYSA for that. The finals are so good. Trying to play sometime. Yeah, it is so good. I do want to get a, uh, I know it's only a three person squad, but we got to get a community, community squad going. Uh, James, no one knows. It's hard to say. I don't see why they would drop them. It hasn't stopped buyer demand. Exactly. I feel like we need, I know it sounds bad, but I feel like we need a little more pain before they drop interest rates. You get multiple offers, uh, first down on my listings. Hmm. But has it gone down? Compared to, I don't know, a few years ago, the amount of offers you get. Uh, SP says, by the way, I saw you on Twitch randomly, though. Your stream is nice. I appreciate it, though. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. How long have you been streaming for? Man, how long has it been, guys? I think it's going to be about a year in March. This isn't my main channel, by the way. My main, my main channel is The Finance Engineer. Um, and I don't stream on that channel. It's more educational, skit-style content. I'll throw on some wigs. Teach personal finance like that. But I'm really trying to make a, a bigger push for this channel this year. Definitely going to prioritize the live coaching sessions. So like I mentioned, last was it last week? Um, we did some money coaching for a streamer called Killdozer. He is a Counter-Strike streamer. And one of their goals is to buy a house. So we talked about that. We talked about how much cash they have, investments, all that stuff. It was fun. It's a lot of fun. Um, Hack Me says, what's your main contestant on the finals? I do like the light builds. I like the light builds. I like the sword. Sword's a lot of fun. I like the... What's that single shot rifle? SPS... Uh, I forget what it's called. That single shot rifle. That one's fun. The double barrel shot... The, the shotgun. Although they nerfed it, I think. And I'll either go with a dash or a cloak. A lot of fun. Love that game. been about a year almost yeah i think so moon about a year um do you know about gfx arts nope i do not max coffin says what do you think about annuities anytime i go and research annuities i always come to the same conclusion i'm like why not just bonds why not just invest in bonds I know they're uh, in the same category. I think that category is called fixed income securities. So my preference is bonds. But if you can find a sweet deal on a, an annuity, maybe it'll make sense for you. Hack says, uh, oh, so if you do a private game, if you, if, you, if you become a creator on it, you can do private games with nine people. Oh, no way. How do you become a creator on that? Uh, James, you still see over asking on every house, maybe like 20% less demand, but nothing crazy different. Wow, that's shocking. I didn't know that. I thought it slowed down significantly. 
Um, buying real estate at a high return, high rate when others are scared is the play. If rates do drop, your value goes up a lot. Wow. So I'm in that boat. My wife and I bought uh, about two years ago, and it was like just all time high rates. Our rate was about four point six. So uh, we're 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 in that boat. Sounds like. Um, Hack says, do you like mutual funds is the best out of like stocks, kind of? I do prefer mutual funds and ETFs over individual stocks. Yes, definitely. Flip a coin. Just pick one. Mutual funds. Uh, honest, actually, pick the one that's cheaper because a mutual fund and an ETF, they have something called an expense ratio. And it's a fee that you're paying the people that are managing that fund. So keep that in mind. Great question, y'all. Uh, James says, and if the market does somehow crash, Tenna's probably not going to stop paying rent. Some risk. And if the market does somehow crash, Tenna's probably not going to stop paying rent. Some risk. But if there's a recession and people lose their jobs, doesn't that risk increase? I mean, it's, it's kind of like a cascading effect, right? I don't see 2008 happening again. Like, not at that level, of course. Hopefully not. That'd be bad. It'd be bad for people. Investors would love it. Shrekinator says, can you lose money in a Roth IRA? You can. Yes. Let's say you invest in a stock. Let's say you invest in James Ray stock. And it goes down after about a year. And you sell it within the Roth IRA. You just locked in that loss. So you lost money. But let's say you invest in James Ray stock. It goes up, it goes down, it goes up. As long as you don't sell, well, you don't lose money. You got to have over 30,000 followers and email, email them. Put in a request. Ah, oh, you have 30K on Insta. I'm going to get my thing. And if I do, I'll host games for you if you want. Yeah, hit me up. I'm down. I have like collectively like 800,000 followers on my main channel. I have like 400K on TikTok, about 100K on Instagram and YouTube, but it's not a gaming channel. <laughs> Maybe they'll give it to me. Uh, uh, James, you have a 6.8%. You paid 325 for your house about a year ago. It's worth um, 450 now. Dang, in just a year? That's crazy. Neighbor's house just sold for 450 same house. Wow, that is insane. Um, what did I miss here? Artwork that attracts people. Ah, you also design. Oh, so you're you're a GFX artist. Would you mind having a look on some of my recent work? I have a legit portfolio. Are you here to sell me stuff? Is that what this is? Um, yeah, drop a link. We'll check it out. I don't know if I have a need for it. Are you a just a graphic designer in general? Might have some work. Might have some work. I do need... Um, I'm going to put this channel through a complete rebrand, so I'm going to need a color scheme, like a color palette, a logo, and stuff like that. So if you're a, an extremely savvy expert graphic designer, we can talk. <clears throat> they should still give it to you because I'm in the process of getting mine and my Instagram is uh, pics of me. Ah, oh, you're a bodybuilder. So it's all of you. Nice. What's your pro tip for me? How do I gain weight fast without being miserable? <laughs> I money run stock never goes down. <laughs> money run stock. Money run coin, right? Exclusive crypto. Nothing over here, huh? Okay, we went in there already. Anything over here? Nope. Nope, nope, nope. 
I think I saw some stairs over here. Is this the play? This is the play. All right. Okay, we did that already. <clears throat> oh, Mr. Oh, yeah. Finish your homework, man. <laughs> for night, for you, you simply eat a lot. All right. What does chat think is happening with the car market? Curious about the car market? I need to get a new one. I don't suppose. Sorry. Even if the... I haven't really been keeping up. Um, it's definitely has the the used car market at least has cooled off significantly. There was a time where you guys remember when used car prices were creeping up to new car prices. I don't think that's the case now. Actually, I know that's not the case now. What the hell is this? Large capacity corrosion resistance converter. Where do I put this? Uh huh. Shot put? I can buy a shot put, guys. Yeah, do exclamation Discord. I don't get a link to the Discord. Actually, don't don't spam the Discord. Can you send me an email instead? It should be on my profile. Send me an email. Hack says, eat a, lot of, eat a lot, and protein is going to be your best friend, so it's not easy or fun to gain. No pain, no gain, right? Is that what they say? James, you sold a leased car to Carvana and pocketed difference from their offer versus buy it in 2021? Dang, look at you. <laughs> Flipping cars. Sounds like you're crushing it, man. Keep it up. How long have you been doing real estate for? Now you want to get an EV, but your mom said, what if the battery dies for some reason? Isn't it expensive to get it replaced? Everyone always complains about that. It's so annoying. It's the most annoying thing. As long as you're not dumb, and by dumb, it means you're not using a super high voltage charger, like a super fast charging charger, right? Like a Tesla supercharger. Like if you have a Tesla, you're not supposed to take it to the supercharger to charge it every day. It's not, you're not supposed to do that. You're supposed to charge it at home, nice and slow. Look at this. This reminds me of Gears of War. Yeah, Gears of War. But yeah, I've had the Tesla for five years. Battery still holds like 95% charge. It's fine. There are some Teslas that are 10, 15, 20 years old, and they're holding about 80 or 90%. It's totally fine. For Teslas, at least. For Teslas. <clears throat> 10K difference? Dang. Hack thought you said Nirvana. Yeah, pretty pretty similar, right? Did you, you guys see Carvana stock? Holy crap. Who would have thought, huh? Who would have thought? They exploded. Look at this guy. Okay, that was a real delayed hit. Oh, 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 oh. Ooh. Sokia says, I want I want to be a vigilante. I need an absurd I need an, I need an absurd amount of cash. Sorry, I'm trying not to die here while reading your questions. Uh, and I died. <laughs> I blame you, Sokia. You want to be a vigilante? You need an absurd amount of cash. What real estate market is at an all-time low? James, what real estate market is at an all-time low? Is the question. SP, I do have a Discord, but don't send me your portfolio in my Discord. Send me an email. Let me, uh, let me put my email here. It should be on my Twitch profile, but... Uh, the finance engineer. Hopefully it doesn't get spammed or uh, blocked. All right, there you go. Since 2021, fl uh, flopped first house or flipped first house? It's a big difference between flop and a flip, huh? In 2021, I realized this is the way uh, realtor is just a side gig now. Okay. Flipped. Okay. I figured. <laughs> I'm like, you flopped in the first house? That's unfortunate. 
Hack says, Teslas are nice, but I'm not a fan of them. Yeah, I mean, they're not, they're not the best cars in the world. That's for sure. Already talked to this dude. And bought some stuff. Where's our body? Here it is. Alright, let's try not to fall into that pit again. Haxa, so are you an online coach or do you have a job? I'm a full-time content creator between both my channels. This channel is more of the coaching channel. My other channel is mainly like educational slash entertainment. So I'll try and make personal finance fun. It's like personal finance, investing, career. What is this? Okay. I was a software engineer, was working as a software engineer for about seven years. Uh, my last job was at Amazon, which I left about a year ago now. <clears throat> James, you buy a house for about 150, 200K here. My gosh, that is so cheap. That is nice. I have a friend who's in that area. He's a creator. Um, his name is... His channel is... Oh, damn it. <laughs> the Hidden Enemy. Classic. Uh, his name is John... If you look up John E. Finance, he's an awesome creator. I think, I think he's in the Cincinnati area also. Kobe says, What's the rule for monthly payment? It's like every $100 in down payment equates to like $20 off the monthly payment or something. Monthly payment for what? The a uh, car? Home? Both? Any loan? King Rotsky? Dude, it has been a long time. How you been, man? Welcome back. Welcome back. You were saying uh, a year ago last year? A year ago last year? It's been, it's, it's a been a year officially since I left my job. I think January 1st, right? Or am I tripping? Has it been two years? It has been two years. Um, where did... There's my body. I'm gonna grab this and run back. There's the guy here. The guy... Oh my gosh, it happened again. <laughs> Uh. Hack, you're a cyber securist for myself right now? Oh, you're in cyber security? Dude, that's awesome. Cyber security is so damn important these days. Every thousand dollars is about ten dollars on a mortgage. Putting down 20% isn't worth saving up in my opinion. Especially if it's going to take you a long time, right? Because the more you wait, the more expensive it's going to get. All right, we're not going to, it's not going to happen again. We're going to, here we go. All right, uh, let's, let's put some flame, flame on. There we go. Holy crap, the reach on these guys. Oh, that fire is definitely not their favorite. Oh, it did happen again. <laughs> Whoopsies. You miss out on gains while saving at 20%. You can just do 5% PMI is 150. That's sound logic to me. I agree. I think it's good to save up more than what you put down. Because I think it's good to have cash. Especially when it comes to real estate. What's your, um... I guess you don't do rentals. So, I was going to ask you how much cash you keep on hand. I only found your channel last year, so I'm an early adopter then. You are. You are one of the OGs. King, you do cybersecurity as well? Damn, we got multiple cybersecurity people here. 
Hold on, I just saw a nerdy question, and my geek brain turned on. Grayson says, yeah, hacker man, what's port on SSH? It's port 22? I think 22, right? Can someone confirm? I think it's 22. Um, Xavier, this is, um, this is Liza P. Liza P. It's like a kind of Dark Souls style of game where play, we play Pinocchio, basically. It's like a Pinocchio story. Connor, what's up, Connor? How you doing, man? This is Liza P. It is, tw it's port 22. Nice. SSH hack at 192.168.1.0. 69, right? That's that's your uh, local IP. I keep all cash on hand. You keep all your cash on hand. Okay. Took you long enough, dude. Do you Google, do you Google that? <laughs> What's another port? What is port 443? We're taking a quick break from finance, guys. We're going <laughs> to talk about freaking networking. Yep, HTTPS. You got it. How about port 80? Full transparency, I'm, I'm blank on what 80 is. Is that um, just HTTP? Not secure. I'm happy to pay. I'm happy to pay to borrow money to flip. Having a fat bank account helps me sleep at night. Hey man, quality of life. That's important. There's no point in the. Uh... Oh. Can I, can I parry? Damn it, the timing. All right, finally. Look, like I've been stuck here for too long. To be fair, it, it is hard to play these games and answer questions about personal finance. So I, I get some, I get some break there, right? Can I break this? Cannot. Oh yeah, Mooney found me through the main channel. Nice. Oh yeah, Kobe, you're also on cyber. Holy crap, we got three, four people? I think Grayson, you're also are you also on cyber? What are you in? Are you a software engineer? You're earning five percent, James? Good, 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 good. I like it. Oh, hack is playing the finals, that's why you can respond. Priorities, man. W priorities. Can I stink up on this dude? Come on. A little more. Oh, come on. Oh. He turned around for a second. Noise, noise, noise. 480 is HTTP. Okay. No encryption. So Connor spent a lot of time in the sports card. Is that a hobby? It scrolled up. I couldn't see. Sports card hobby, and it seems to have turned out quite well so far. So, quite well so far, but my friends all think it's dumb. Should I use it for investments instead? I think you should prioritize your investments first, and then after that, yeah. If you want to put some money into really any hobby, yeah, go for it. Especially if you enjoy it. If you enjoy it, yeah, absolutely prioritize it. But you want a solid foundation. Make sure you have a solid financial foundation. There's a glowing thing somewhere. Here it is, here it is, here it is. All right, cool, 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 cool. Did I get one-shotted? Oh my gosh, I did. You have a cybersecurity degree and certs, Grayson, but you're working uh, in operations. All right. It's nice to hang with some fellow nerds. Hack, you're only 17. You have your A+. Plus. Nice. Tips on what others I should get. Ooh. You know what you should look into? Become a whiz at AWS, Azure, and Google Cloud. You'll make some good money. 
Although, on-call duties might suck, depending on the job, so just keep that in mind. But great skills to have. <clears throat> what else is going on? Um, Mythic Bacon says, I'm in... I'm in culinary at a vocational school. How would I be able to make more money after I graduate? Well, it all comes down to learning some valuable skills and putting those skills to work. So I mean, you're already going to school for culinary, which is fine. I'm not sure if job hopping is, is effective in that industry. Otherwise, I'd say job hopping, promotions, Besides that, you're going to be hopefully not have to not have to work a second job. That wouldn't be fun, but the reality is these days it is extremely common. You could also start some kind of side hustle online. You won't make money right away, most likely, but if it's something that you're into, then do it and over time you'll you'll eventually make some money. That's what happened with this with social media for me. All right, Non says I make over $2,000 a month on Depop, and I'm 16. Do I need to file taxes? What is Depop? So if you make less than the standard tax deduction, you likely may not need to file taxes. The standard tax deduction is about $13,500. Uh, but talk, talk to your parents. Did I get my body back? I didn't. Try right here. Alright, it's these pillars that are really messing me up. Oh, jeez. Run, 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 run. Let's bail. Let's run back here. Oh, they're chasing me hard. They are not... They're not gonna let me go, huh? Look at these guys. <laughs> oh, now he stopped. Are you bored? Okay. <clears throat> this is Liza P. Any tips on how we can start investing at 17? You're going well, to want to talk to your parents to have them open up a custodial investment account for you. Uh, James has my friends in cybersecurity. He loves it. They get, they get paid so good. Yeah, it's a great field highly it's so incredibly important these days everything's online everything uses the cloud connor you finished a personal finance course in my high school and would like to thank you for helping me with some questions i had last semester oh yeah i think you're talking about um was it a mutual fund or something you're very welcome Vintage clothing app. Ah, gotcha. Well, that app may send you a tax form. So keep an eye out for that. Actually, open the app, go into the settings, and see if there's a tax section. I'm not sure if payments are done through that app. If not, then you probably won't have that. As a general rule, every thousand dollars in the down payment reduces your monthly payment by fifteen to eighteen dollars. Noise. Sys P network plus security plus all good certs. Um, it's like a closet clean. It's like a closet clean out app you sell clothes on. Ah. King, you have a tab open with Udemy. Noise. Night, your old friends. Uh, your old friends is doing electronic engineering. Ooh, yeah. That's what I did. Electronics and computer engineering. It was hard, man. Engineering was hard. You should try the game uh, Pal World. It's kind of like Pokemon. My wife is obsessed with it and many of her friends. I'll have to check it out. Although I don't... The last thing I need is a, another, it's a game that's going to distract me from my work. <laughs> I have a lot of work to do. Don't ever start, don't ever have two channels, guys. Don't ever have two social media channels. 
It's a dumb thing to do. But I can't help it. Okay, so these guys are easier to kill if I destroy these little pillars. I think those pillars were giving them a, a buff. That's probably what was happening. Show came out to see you next week, Ron. Oh, okay. Enjoy the show. We'll see you next week, man. Take care. Alright, can we sneak up on this dude? Actually, I want to destroy this thing. Oh, baby. All right, let's back off. Let's back off. Oh, Hulk smash. Okay, I think I need to uh, get the fire on here. There we go. Is that working? Yeah, it's doing some damage. Oh yeah, much better. Come on. Ouch. There we go, that's what I wanted. There we go, finisher. He's uh, on fire, but he's not dead. All right, now he's dead. We got nothing for that, huh? Love when that happens. Aren't they getting sued by Nintendo? Yeah, I think Pokemon released a statement. Uh, I guess they're investigating that game. There are some extreme similarities. I don't know what they were thinking, because <laughs> there are some some copy pasta, you know. We'll see what happens. And uh, I do know someone who works at Pokemon, and they're extremely they're strict about their brand. They're extremely strict about their brand. Oh damn it! I, for I forgot there's this this thing called disruption. It's like a poison. It got me good. Got washed. What's good, man? It's been a while. It has been. How you been? A lot of uh, a lot of people tuning in. I haven't haven't seen in a while. Now, how did the devs said they barely knew how to make games and ended up making that masterpiece? Is that what they said? The devs said they barely knew how to make games. All right, let's run back over there. Oh, that's a wall. What time is it? All right, I, I gotta get off in a few minutes. I kind of want to just skip this guy. Let's skip him. Don't fall. Okay, I missed all that. Oh no, it killed me again. I just lost stuff. You've been alright, just work. You work when I stream. Just caught you on my break. Mmm. Damn. I gotta change my schedule, huh? Or you gotta change your schedule. Something's gotta happen. How's work been? Were you working at. Was that, a, was that a restaurant? I forget. It's been that long. Uh, Fausto says, quick question. Can you call your credit card company and ask for a lower APR? Mm. You can try. But I don't think they're going to do it. They'll likely give you a higher credit limit if you ask for that. Um, but there are some terms for lowering the APR. I think... I have to have the card for a certain amount of time, and they'll just lower it automatically. But it doesn't hurt to ask. And if they say no, you can ask them. You know, what are the terms for that? Are there any situation? Are there any situations where they would lower the APR? But as long as you're paying off. Oh god, I got poisoned again. 
As long as you're paying off your credit card in full every month, the APR shouldn't matter. Uh, but if you are carrying a balance, yeah, that APR is going to hurt quite a bit. Doesn't your wife work there and she plays it? You saw that in some article somewhere? You're working in a warehouse. Mmm. How's that going? Let's just run past this. Oh, wait a minute. It keeps happening. I keep dying the same way. We gotta run past that and go that direction. Okay, I see it. We're just gonna run for it. Fausto, thanks for the follow. Good to know, thanks. Keep me posted. Let me know what happens. Go, 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 go. <clears throat> People are saying Pal World is what Pokemon should have been. Yeah, I was. my wife and I were talking about that. And we were like, yeah, Pokemon got... They got comfortable. They just had... They've been doing the same formula for, for how long now? And I think it finally caught up to them. What the hell? Like, how is this happening? I guess I gotta destroy these pillars. All right, one more try. All right, washed. Have a have a good time at work. We'll catch you next time. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna run through this. We're gonna open that little uh, shortcut door, and then we're gonna call it. I gotta eat, and I got a bunch of videos to film for the main channel. Probably like three or four videos. All right. Nope. Oh, man. All right, cool. <clears throat> F says thoughts on Tesla stock falling by a quarter. I don't really follow Tesla a whole lot. I do have one of the cars, but... What was the reason why they're down? Did analysts just say... Poor guidance? Alright, we... Can we run past this? No, run past, run past! Alright, 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 alright. Not a lot of growth. Open this, open this, open this. There we go. Let me through. Let me through. Oof. All right, we got to the shortcut. Do we continue? I don't know. What if you're actually an AI? You have to be honest, are you a robot? Yep. Sorry. So G on TikTok says, I went from CE to CS. Got any advice for internships? I know the tech market is tough right now. So internships are good, but remember, you don't you don't have to have one. I, I, I didn't have an internship in college at all. Not even one. So while it does help, don't stress out too much if you can't get one. But networking is your is your best friend. Talk to people, go to events, even hackathons, all sorts of events. Talk to people. And just bank on someone knowing someone who's looking for an intern and then helping you get an interview. Now if you can't get one, you should spend some time and build up your portfolio. I mean, either way you should, but that's what helped me a ton, is I had a pretty bitchin' portfolio, brought it to me during interviews, um, and that, that helped a lot. 
Chinese automakers are making <clears throat> better EVs and surpassing the sales of Tesla. I see. But to be fair, that's the entire market of China versus Tesla. Yeah. And Tesla is producing cars in China too, right? We'll see how Tesla's diversification pays off, right? Because they're they're no longer Tesla Motors. They're they're just Tesla. So they're making some pretty big bets with uh, AI, robotics, and um, supercomputing, which is I guess related to AI to train their models. But in terms of like self-driving technology, I feel like Tesla is just so incredibly far ahead of everyone else. I don't know what it's like for the China EV makers in terms of self-driving or driver assistance. But either way, yeah, car companies, running a car company, it is tough. But I think what will probably happen is Tesla banking more on subscriptions than the car. You know what I mean? So maybe they sell a car at cost, maybe a little bit of a loss, but they recoup that with... Oh, why did I go the long way? I forgot. I opened the shortcut and I just went the long way again. So imagine Tesla comes out with their, their cheaper EV that they've been talking about for a while. Their mass market EV, that's like 25k or whatever they were talking about earlier. So if they sell that at cost, or maybe a little bit of a loss, and they just have some kind of subscription service, right, subscription for the, I don't know, driver assistance software, subscription for the connectivity. Luckily when I got my Tesla, I got grandfathered in, so I don't pay for any kind of connectivity plan, and I do get LTE in the car. G says, what was your GPA? Does it really matter that much? My GPA was a 2.8. 2.8. First job out of college. Again, um, so I was working at Best Buy at the time at Geek Squad. It took me about eight months or so uh, to land my first job out of college. Making 53 grand per year. Um, let's see, got a promotion there. 65 grand. Job popped. 80 grand. Um, job popped again. 140 grand. And just kept doing that. And I ended with uh, $230,000 before I left Amazon. So no internship, 2.8 GPA. But I, dude, I tripled down on my portfolio. I literally had, I built a mobile game. And I, I during the interviews, I had a, uh, um, my portfolio in the portfolio was my design doc for the game. And I had all sorts of documentation for the game. And they asked a question like, hey, tell me about a time you worked on a difficult project. I said, well, check this out. I worked on this game. I pulled the game up on my phone, handed it to another interviewer. So one person was looking at the portfolio with the game design doc. Other one was actually playing the game. Um, and I really just tried to steer the conversation. Because they were... They are busy with the game. They are busy with looking at the portfolio. So I can just talk and, and brag about this. They can, they'll ask questions. I'll be like, oh yeah, no, no, this is... This is how that works. This is what I struggled with. Blah, blah, blah. So that makes a huge difference. I, I've interviewed probably, I don't know, between 50 and 100 people. And rarely do people come with their portfolio. It's such an easy win. Or not easy win. It's not easy to make a portfolio, but it's uh, so incredibly valuable. Tesla starting production of a low-cost EV in 2025, apparently. I don't believe that. There's a special formula that I came up with for Elon Musk um, timelines. You take the date that he's projecting and add between three and five years to it. <laughs> That's my Elon Musk timeline formula. Um, G, did you include it on your resume? I didn't put my GP on my resume, no. Um... I put the most important stuff at the top, right? Valuable skills, projects I worked on, and the least important stuff in the bottom and got rid of as much fluff as I could. Because when people are looking at resumes or reviewing resumes, you maybe have between 10 and 30 seconds to try and get their attention to see if you're worth calling. So the less fluff, 
the easier you make it for them, using a lot of action words in your bullet points, right? Developed, develop this, maintain this, debugged this, right? That's important, but don't stress. Again, if you don't get an internship, don't stress. But please, 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 double down on having a solid portfolio, especially as a computer engineer. Uh, Demps, thanks for the follow. I see Tesla as more than just a car company. Yeah, you and you and them both. I think they're trying to. They are definitely branching out. All right, I want to get to one more waypoint, hopefully. And then we'll call it. What time is it? Oh, man. We're about 20 minutes over. Nah, we don't care about that, dude. Anything over here? Nope. But here. It's kind of dark in here. Oh, I hear an enemy somewhere. Of course. Oh, ouchie. Oh, that was sick. That was really sick. Oh, let's get this. Uh, there we go. There we go. Oh, we got something here. Arch heavyweight frame. Okay, I don't know if I'm going to. Oh, no way. Too heavy. Tesla simp. <laughs> a lot of Tesla, a lot, lot of Tesla and Elon Musk simps out there, for sure. Some people are just like die-hard fans of Elon. It's kind of scary. Come on, let's get one waypoint so we can call it. Oh, there it is. I think I see it. Let's double check here. All right. Is this a trap? Check your corners. All right, we're good. All right, we made it. All right, y'all, we're going to call it. Awesome questions. Thanks for being here. We'll be back on this channel Tuesday of next week. Be sure to follow the main channel, the finance engineer. If you run exclamation main channel, you will get a link to that, or at least a name for that. And uh, what else? If you don't have a high yield savings, check out the link in bio or exclamation HYSA. Let's get you some passive income. What am I trying to do here? I want to switch to chatting. There we go. And we do have a free Discord you can join. We're all in there having a good time. If you have questions, you want to chat, hop in. Besides that, I will talk to you all later. Have an awesome night. Oh, I was muted. We're just about to, we're just hopping off now. I do remember you, yeah. You asked about the LLC was offered 85k. You got 300k? Dang. No problem. Can you stop by on Tuesday or next Thursday and tell me about it? Love to hear it. Awesome. Cool. All right, man. Have a good night. I'll catch y'all later. Have a good weekend.